Hey guys, back with another video. Uh, hit two consignment auctions, and these are some of the pickups I got. Uh, unfortunately, this time of year in a cold weather climate, you know, the garage sales, estate sales, regular household uh, estate type auctions basically go away until usually around April, March. So I don't really come across a whole lot of stuff. Usually thrift stores around here are dead. Uh, pretty much everything's picked over. You know, a couple of years ago, you could actually find some good stuff at thrift stores, but not anymore. Uh, so these are a few of my pickups. Uh, like I said, it, these came from consignment type auctions. Uh, this first group, I don't really know a whole lot about comic books, but for the price, I couldn't pass them up. I end up picking up a whole box full of these comic books. I end up paying thirty-five dollars for all of them. And like I said, I don't know I don't know a whole lot about comics. I just was kind of taking a chance that there might be some pretty good ones in here. But just for the sheer volume, it was kind of a no-brainer just to take a chance on them. It probably came out to about ten cents a comic book or less. And so I've been going through them, and so far it looks like these are the two best ones so far. And these look to be about uh, 10 to probably $20 a piece, depending on how they're graded. And they look to be in pretty nice condition. So that was a pickup. Uh, like I said, these two will probably pay for them all. So I'll probably end up trying to sell these locally. And then I end up picking up this flat of toys for $5. And one thing you guys should always look for is uh, old action figures. This is a uh, Hulk, and it's from 1975. And it's a uh, pocket Mego. And surprisingly, something like this is worth uh, around $20, probably 15 to 30 range, depending on you know the condition. And another action figure. These this is also a Mego from Buck Rogers from the late 70s. That's probably a $15 action figure. And this little guy here, Quickie. He's also from Buck Rogers. And surprisingly, you know, this is probably around a $30 toy. They seem to go from 25 to a 40 depending on the condition. And this one is in really nice condition. A sticker you see there is really nice. So that's a really good find for five bucks. There's also some flats of jewelry that went up for auction. They went fairly high. And what you can do is after, you know, a, a flat of something like this sells for, if there is something inside you want, you can actually go up to the buyer and sometimes they'll sell you what's inside. There's uh, some flats of jewelry and there were some watches inside, and the jewelry went way higher than I was willing to pay. But I went to this lady that bought one of the flats, and I asked her if she was willing to sell the watches, and she said she was. She's not interested in watches. So I ended up picking up these two Timex watches from the 70s. This is, I think it's from 72, this one, or 75. One's from 72 and one's from 75. So you can see the crystal has some scratches on it, but it is running. And she also sold me this one. It's also a Timex. These are mechanical, so you wind them, uh, and that's how they run. No batteries. So she ended up selling me these for $5 each, and I think they're worth $20 to $40 each. And then the last pickup was 
these. <clears throat> these are old model cars from the 60s in parts, pieces. There's ones on the bottom here, they're called uh, screw downs or screw bottoms. And they're actually like dealer promotional cars. You go into the dealership in the 60s and you could buy the model car of that year. I ended up picking this group up for 10 bucks and you list these on eBay under junkyard lots. And if you would, you know, you can type in junkyard model cars on eBay and you'll be surprised how much just uh, stuff like this sells for. I'm hoping to get between 50 and $80 for these. So these are my pickups, uh, mostly toys, comics, kind of guy type things. Like I said, this time of year, it's kind of limited on the kind of stuff I find. Uh, so remember, guys, if you like my videos, remember to like and subscribe. I try and, uh, you know, we'll come up with a video once a week or so this time of year. So uh, see you next time.